Hey, this is Alexia, and I'm here with Kiwi Kids. Starting off the new season, we're going to talk about uh, some of the changes we've made to the team and uh, just get some of your opinions on things. Thanks for joining me. Yeah, no problem. Awesome. Thanks, um, Alexia. Yeah, like uh, walk me through the time frame between uh, now and so like the last season and like just that whole right. chronological order. Yeah, so last time. season. <laughs> uh, two, of our play two of our players decided not to resign, and we also lost Skara. And yeah, we were kind of at a loss what to do. And then, I don't know, Cord, JJ made a post on Invent, like, how can I join Dig? And I was like, okay, I'll just check this guy out. I was like, am I, am I even worthy of such a player? Because he was like ring four on the challenger ladder. Yeah. He's pretty good. And I had some doubt, I honestly had some doubts on myself, but you know, I really think I can make it. And also had a lot of support from not only the staff, but actually from my teammates. And actually, that was probably the main part that made the difference. Like. It doesn't matter as a player who you have support from. Well, it, it always helps regardless, but the essential thing is if your teammates believe in you. And I mean, I have that. So I really wanted to make this stride. And then we had Malik C A and like contact mm -hmm. um, core. And then, you know, all of a sudden they just flew over here. And then yeah. we were kind of just trying them out. And dang, it's been like crazy. I can't believe it's, it's already been like a month since they've come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, actually, literally a month from today. I remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And yeah, here we are now. Here you are. How did it like evolve? So like, when they first arrived, what were your thoughts? And My then... thoughts was like, <laughs> this shit's not gonna fucking work. No, I was actually, <laughs> nah, I wasn't being pessimistic at all. <laughs> oh, I guess that's a, that's like, that's more like biased, I guess. Because you can argue I wasn't being, wasn't being quite pessimistic. But, no, there's just the language wasn't there, mm -hmm. um, they were like kind of shy, like really shy at first, like obviously Court JJ is like super enthusiastic yeah, now, but yeah. mm -hmm. definitely he wasn't like that at first. Yeah, he had to grow into it. And, I don't know, I was like, man, what am I even doing, like, like this is, this was crazy, this was like too bold, like, we're like, we're all fools, and I felt so bad mm -hmm. for Dane Toss and Odie, because it was like, and like, so like spent so much time, and he spent so much money. And I was like, fuck, like, how is this going to work? But, you know, we just went with it, like, let's just get level 30 accounts. And, um, yeah, so we just grinded level 30 accounts with them. And we started doing, it was a blast. And then JJ started opening up a lot, because yeah. he was, like, finally mm -hmm. playing with me. And then he was like, dude, this can work. And then, you know, he's really, really <laughs> he's been really nice, giving me a lot of compliments, so I like that too. And... Yeah, they just like they've been picking up the English really fast, and now I'm like really happy. I you know, can't wait to show all fans and non-fans alike how good we are at it again. So that's that's so great. Your, your relationship, like you were the first person I think even before I got here, you were in the house, right? When JJ came in. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and so you had like that initial initial impression of like walking in the house and he's there, and you're yeah. like, what's gonna happen here? Yeah. And so that, there was a lot of trepidation, there was a lot of kind of fear around that. Yeah. Yeah. And, but it's evolved into sort of a better, um, mm -hmm. a better team composition, things like that, right? Yeah. yeah. That's great. That's really cool. What are like the um, relationship dynamics that you think are important around you and Core JJ? You know, what, what needs to happen for you guys to synergize really well and actually um, come together as, as a modeling? I think we've done a majority of what's happened. I mean, you can always play together, and that always helps. But we've already kind of, like, we do, and for a week, I let him take the lead on everything, and, like, shot call the lane and everything. Mm -hmm. And then the next week, I did it. Like, he let me do it. And then we just kind of figured each other out. And then now it's kind of like a mutual kind of, almost similar thing I had with Cutie Pie. Really? And, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's been really good. We kind of, like... <laughs> For lack of a word, you feel each other out. Yeah, but yeah. So, um, you know, when he moves, I move, and when I move, he moves. So. And he's been like more vocal, also, right? Like shot calling with yeah. you, and just like getting out yeah, there. Yeah, he's and, kind of bold. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes, but mm -hmm. honestly, it's better to be like ambitious than not. So. I think yeah. so too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, it's I'll way easier to train. Him. Him. Yeah. And at least he talks. So that's like the best thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's way easier to train like a um a player to be more to be less aggressive than more aggressive. Yeah, right? for sure. Yeah, no, yeah. it's way better. Mm -hmm.
Um, what do you think that you and him need to focus on in, in your bot lane to sort of define your, your bot lane? Like strategy-wise and sort of um, in terms of communication or in terms of your relationship, what needs to happen um, to make that? I need to help him be more aware of jungler. Okay. And I need mm -hmm. to like grow that as myself because mm -hmm. to be fair, he doesn't really need to like, get that sense, juggler sense if I already have it because I can just tell him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so if my juggler sense or his, it doesn't matter whose juggler sense like grows, that's a really big important thing. Okay. I think mm -hmm. mine's a little bit better than his. But um, one thing I am, sometimes I don't play up as much with him, which when I should be, because I'm kind of scared. Mm -hmm. And once I work on that, I think it will be a really good thing. Awesome. All right. Um... This is actually the one that I really want to know because I, I got to know you, um, I guess now it's two seasons ago almost, yeah, and, and yeah. yeah, pretty much, and I've watched you just grow as a player, I've watched you become like really self-aware and like you just really, uh, I think exceed almost everybody's expectations, like just, just uh -huh. in terms of like just your fan base but also us and everything, mm -hmm. and I was wondering like for you personally as a support, how have you evolved? Like, how is your role? Not only how how have you grown into your role, and what have you realized? Like, what are the what are the milestones you've come to and to understand? So, as you guys know, my playstyle like really shifted to like roaming a lot, and I used to like be hell bent over roaming, but actually over like the past month, I've been kind of like mellowed out about it. I don't like immediately ditch land anymore. I think you can you should all almost always roam, but. Only when your ADC is safe to 1v2, strong enough, is strong enough to 1v2, safe enough to 1v2, and your turret won't fall. Mm -hmm. You need to make sure those are all in order. And I think after that, you can like ward around the map, which really helps because like everything revolves around mid lane mm -hmm. and those and like all those entrances. So um, I think that's one of the biggest things. And just knowing how to like curve out your aggression, just like like just. If you're not dying at all in solo queue, I'll, if you if you're not like top ten, you should like be dying a lot more. You should just be like, <laughs> you know, taking more risks. Yeah, yeah. taking mm -hmm. more risks. Like mm -hmm. like, turn the waters, chum the waters. Yeah, take a just, chance. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Just get out there and, you know, die. <laughs> Try to get that kill from like five miles away with it. Yeah, you know, know what you can get away yeah. with and learn. learn. Like, that's how you grow as a player. Yeah, and how will your elo will get there eventually. You just need to. Figure shit out first. How will you grow as a player? What are you going to do to challenge yourself and really kind of excel this season? Because you've just made these huge leaps every season. Like, you decided to become like roaming and carry harder in these last seasons. Like, what are you going to do now? Um, I'm going to next level. I'm going to try to at least get top 10 in Challenger. Mm -hmm. I haven't really been like too far high up on the ELO. Um, I mean, season two actually, I was like ranked two. For, for a little while. Really? Yeah, I was yeah. at 2700 mm -hmm. ELO when the ELO system was out. Mm -hmm. But, no, but ever since then, I haven't really been, like, top, like, 50-ish. Mm -hmm. um, so, I think this season, I'm going to shoot for, at least, like, 1,000 LP. Because I think if you get that, like, you know, like, you're, like, mechanically at least sound. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, like, probably one of the biggest things I need right now. Do you have any goals in terms of, like, that same line of thinking, but for the LCS of the team? Um, like, as a team? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How you'll challenge yourself to become a better team player um, for data toss? I think I'm just going to force myself to talk more. I'm like, probably just hanging with, try to hang with people one on one. I think that helps a lot. Just like out of game chemistry mm -hmm. is really helpful. And yeah, it's pretty big. So um, I think it's an important question for Team Diddy Toss as a whole. You know, we we had so many vast changes in the way that our team operates, and just like the dynamics of it. You know, with Scara and Cutie Pie and everything. I feel like a lot of people don't know the new Digitas. They don't know why. They don't know like what their what is their what should their impression be? What What do you think if you could like tell everybody what would your what would you want to tell them about the new team? What would you want to tell them about what we are um. now? You know. Gordy in a good way, I'd say we're like explosive, like we're, like, we're all still like really bloodthirsty and yeah. so we just want to kill a lot of things but you know sometimes it flops so maybe you could say we're messy if you for lack, for a, if you wanted to word it badly so it's kind of you know however you want to take it and um, yeah I think we'll be a really exciting team to watch and 
all of us want to make plays. So I think, yeah, I think you guys will just be sure to watch us. Do you think the team has like uh, kept that sort of really light attitude that a lot of people know us for? You know, that, that, that... Um, yeah, but we've actually really like kind of like toned down mm -hmm. and like just like pretty much straightened up in our chairs because we've been like lacking that kind of like um, serious kind of persona that can help you sometimes and I think now that we have like a little bit of mix in, um, it'll definitely help us win more. Right. Because really we don't light up as much, or hopefully we don't. What do you think is critical for a team data toss to do to become a top team this season? <coughs> um, I think what we need to do is help core and go out to learn English. Yeah. I think once right. they learn yeah. English, I think we'll be like... Unstoppable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like team. Is that really what we should be focused on? I mean, do you think um, in terms of the team, there's anything that's critical that we need to do? Or do you think that like the player skill is there? Yeah, I think the player skill is there. Yeah, me too. And it's just the communication that needs yeah, to. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Very cool. Yeah. Um, lastly, like, would there be anything that you'd want to say um, to your fans and to people just about yourself and like coming into this new season, what they want to see from you, what they expect? Like, yeah, I just want to yeah. say thanks for everybody. They're still believing me and all the support. Like, I got so much support. I was actually really surprised. Because I know I've been, like, showing up as much. Especially, like, I usually taper down at the end of the season. So, I'm just glad I get another chance. And everybody here is awesome. And, um, yeah, I have to thank all our sponsors. That, should I name them? Or... That's good. Yeah, let's yeah. thank all the sponsors. You know who yeah. you are. Yeah. Let's <laughs> I can say anything there for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Chris Air. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, we can say it. Yeah. We can. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Them too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, um, <clears throat> yeah. That's it for me. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here and just yeah, taking no the time to do this. Yeah, it's I'll awesome. You, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks, guys. <laughs>